So let us solve one more problem. Evaluate limit extends to infinity. 3x square plus 4x plus 5 divided by 2x cube plus 3x minus 7. So let us observe the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. The degree of the numerator is x square whereas the degree of the denominator is x cube. Highest power of x is x cube here. So that means now divide both numerator and denominator by x cube then apply the limit so that we will get the answer. So this process has to be followed to solve these kind of problems. So that means now let us observe the here solution now. Solution limit extends to infinity 3x square plus 4x plus 5 this is 2x cube plus 3x minus 7. Since the highest degree here is 3 so now divide both numerator and denominator by x cube divide both numerator and denominator by x cube since x cube is the highest 3 is the degree of the polynomial here. So this can be written limit extends to infinity 3x square plus 4x plus 5 divided by this x cube and divided by 2x cube plus 3x minus 7 divided by x cube. So now each of the term of the numerator should be divided by x cube in the similar manner that has to be applied to the denominator also. So now this follows limit extends to infinity 3x square by x cube plus 4x by x cube okay what we have plus 5 plus 5 by x cube So now divided by, so you, you can expect now in the regarding to the denominator 2x cube by x cube plus 3x by x cube and next minus 7 by x cube. So next what can you write? the limit extends to infinity 3x square by x cube is 3 by x am i correct because x cube can be written x square into x x square x square cancel x here this can be written x square into x x x cancel plus 4 by x square and plus 5 by x cube divided by now 2x cube by x cube is x cube x cube gets cancelled here we have 2 plus 3x by x cube can I write directly 3 by x square minus 7 by x cube it's very interesting as x is very bigger value the 1 by x becomes 1 by the bigger value is 0 tends to 0 approximately 0 even 1 by x square 1 by x cube or 1 by x to the power of 4 also tends to, if, tends to 0 as x tends to infinity. So we can write uh, this concept as x approaches to infinity the 1 by x, 1 by x square, 1 by x cube 
dash dash also tends to 0. So that's why this 3 by x is 0, 4 by x square is 0, 5 by x cube is also 0. So that means we can write now 0 plus 0 plus 0, am I correct? Divided by, it's very interesting. So this will be 2 only plus 3 by x square is 0 minus 7 by x cube is 0, so minus 0. So we have 0 by 2 is 0. So the value of the limit is 0. So this is the solution. Let us solve the one more problem. So now let me read the question. Evaluate limit extends to infinity 11x cube minus 3x plus 4 divided by 13x cube minus 5x square minus 7. So let us observe the numerator and denominator. So what is the degree of the numerator? 3. The degree of the denominator is also 3. So that's why divide both numerator and denominator by x cube and apply the limit x tends to infinity so that we will get the answer. Okay. Let us solve the problem. Limit x tends to infinity 11x cube minus 3x plus 4 divided by 13x cube minus 5x square minus 7 divide both numerator and denominator with x cube. Am I correct? So now the next step we can write limit x tends to infinity 11 x cube minus 3 x plus 4 divided by x cube divided by 13 x cube minus 5 x square minus 7 by x cube. Okay. Let us simplify numerator as well as let us simplify the denominator. So we get like this now. Okay. What will be the next step? Limit x tends to infinity, positive infinity that means. So this can be written 11 x cube by x cube, correct? minus 3x by x cube plus 4 by x cube divided by 13x cube by x cube okay minus 5x square by x cube minus 7 by x cube. So let it be simplified. So now limit x approaches to or x tends to infinity. We can say both ways no problem. 11 x cube by x cube is 11. Am I correct? Minus 3 x by x cube. You can expect that is 3 by x square plus 4 by x cube divided by. So what will be the denominator after prior simplification? See, after prior simplification, we will get like this 13 minus 5 by x minus 7 by x cube. So now the here very interesting observation we can follow as x approaches to infinity or x tends to infinity 1 by x 1 by x square and 1 by x cube so on 
tends to 0. So that means they can replace by 0. That is why now this becomes 11 is constant 11 only, but whereas 3 by x square should be replaced by 0. It is not equal to 0, just 3 by x square approaches to 0, 4 by x cube approaches to 0. So we get minus 0 plus 0 divided by in the similar manner 13 minus 5 by x approaches to 0, so minus 0, 7 by x cube is also approaches to 0, that is minus 0. So, 11 by 13, so this is the answer.